I don't even know how I'm gonna start this video. Hi everybody, welcome back to Business Bonnet Monday or Business Bonnet Monday. Um, today uh, we have Rihanna joining us. Rihanna, say hi. Hello. Let me turn you up a bit. Say it again. Hello. Um, and today's video isn't really gonna be anything specific it's kind of just gonna be miscellaneous which is okay because it's you know we're just chilling here in her pjs rihanna's not in her pjs but she's chilling too I am in her PJs. she is in her pjs so we're all in our pjs and we're just gonna be talking um i have a few things that i wanted to go over and speak about nothing important but um there is one thing important that I did want to speak about and that is we hit 300 subs I know I said this in my last video but just in case you didn't know thank you guys so much for hitting 300 subscribers I didn't really think we we're gonna make it this far because I literally just posted a couple weeks ago my 200 subscriber like special video so I think I'll plan something out maybe like a giveaway or something for 500 subs or like a Q&A video something like that but um, if you guys have any recommendations about that Coco's opening the door she don't know if she wanna stay or go, like pickle. Okay. Um your poison guy. Huh? Exactly. So um I think we're gonna do something special for the five hundred milestone. Um you guys can pick if what you want it to be if that's okay with me, just leave it down. Huh? Your video should be completely uncut. My video should be uncut. Yes, come to the uncut. Okay, think Rihanna thinks <laughs> Rihanna thinks they're gonna be so long if they're uncut. Maybe maybe the Monday videos I'll make uncut from now on, but like exactly. I don't know. If you guys want the videos to be uncut, we'll try this one uncut. And if you guys want it to stay uncut for I'm business so it Monday, we'll keep it uncut. Um but that's up to you guys. <laughs> Just let us know in the comments. If you don't want them uncut, that's completely fine if I'm editing them, but whatever. And maybe it'll be funny. I don't know. I put, like, the bloopers and the cutscenes, like, at the end. So, we'll see how it goes. But, um, and also, like, my stuttering, I don't know if I'm a... See, like, I want to cut this out right now. But, like... <laughs> I stutter way too much, and I, like, mess up on my words too much to not cut stuff out. So, you guys probably want me to cut them out. So, just, like, let me know. But, yeah, um... Words in their mouth okay okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, i'm sorry you're right <laughs> but um that's one thing i wanted to get um through the see look we're already three minutes in and i only got one point in <laughs> <laughs> don't think about it okay okay um so i wanted to get that through everything else is kind of less important it's kind of just um i don't know just some filler i guess some updates what a yada yada but um the next thing I want to talk about, Rihanna's just going to be chiming in here and there. Nothing really, you know. Yeah. So the next thing I want to talk about is my business. Um, I started selling t-shirts. And um, basically they are is PPD t-shirts. Uh, they're they're custom made. So like I have them on my Etsy. And you can customize what you want on this shirt. I actually have an example I can show you. This one I made as an example it got messed up so don't even come for me right now that but okay so this is the, thing that, that's the beauty of trying i love that shirt i love it i, I love it i know this is the shirt y'all um and that shirt fine. so this is okay yeah it's around you're gonna want to sit so as you can see it has like toji on the front and it has the jujitsu kaisen thing I and i know i love him too that's why i put him on the shirt let me stop but um and on the back you see where it messed up so it's supposed to say it's supposed to say anime game eat repeat but it's like backwards but it's like not backwards but the letters are backwards because i didn't mirror it correctly um it's rihanna's fault she gave me the wrong information hey! um <laughs> nobody's fault but your own <laughs> <laughs> but um it would look really cute if you know if it did come out right but it's still kind of cute rihanna wants it so she's gonna have it and then on the sleeves it just has the rainbow six siege icon logo um it's it's really cute from like the front and like the side but when you get to the back it's like a little it's so cute so mischievous but the reason that i was talking about this wasn't like self-promotion or anything like that it was because um i know that a lot of people are interested in selling starting um 
phone case businesses which has to do with like sublimation transferring and all that stuff so i wanted to put this in as like um an idea because i know a lot of people are saying like oh i'm like i don't know where to start um or like what business i should start or what i should do or how to get money for the business i want to start and i'm actually going to be making a video that's cute that's real i keep disturbing you i'm sorry it's okay it's okay um that might be my favorite. I didn't even get to see the other ones yet. But let me keep going. There's lingerie in this goddamn drawer. Um, what I was saying was... See, now you threw off my whole train of thought. <laughs> if you... um, I'm making a video on, like, business ideas for teens. Um, all the way as young as, like, probably, I'd say, maybe 10 or 8 could start. You know, it's, it's going to be like an actual helpful video. It's not going to be the ones where like, oh, sign up and watch all these ads and get 20 cents a week from watching these ads. It's actually going to be pretty helpful and it should be pretty useful for people my age, teens, younger, older, um, to actually help start making money. Um, that's a future video I have coming up. But um, back to the t-shirts. If you're interested in like sublimation or... Um, transferring maybe adding t-shirts to your business um might be a good idea a good idea and i say this because if you're starting a phone case businesses nine times out of ten you already have the supplies you need to start a t-shirt business um i have all the stuff for my phone case which is like sublimation ink um i have my heat press and you know all my other little materials um but um it's basically the same thing you need to start a t-shirt business all you need to get is the t-shirts which are also super cheap they're actually less expensive than the phone cases themselves and you need to get it you don't need to get this if you just want to use sublimation because you can also put your sublimation ideas on t-shirts if you didn't know that but um if you don't want to do that and you want to do something that i have here um and you have an inkjet printer so you won't need to use your sublimation printer all you need is a regular inkjet printer you can get ppd papers which is uh they look just like this i have them in my drawer look just like this um they're just like the same size as regular printer paper but you can use them on inkjet um i think they have a laser version too i don't know but i know this is for inkjet and you just print your design on here and you can use your heat press and your heat tape and transfer it onto your t-shirts bless you um and you can have your own custom made t-shirts and that's something else you can add to your business or you might want to you might be interested in to add on your phone cases because they use pretty much the same materials so i just wanted to put that out there um i'm gonna be making a more in deal and a more in detail video about i'm gonna cut this <laughs> i want to cut you got this. Okay. Um. I'm on one of my mom's lingerie. <laughs> oh. Um. And uh. Pff, brain fart. But um. With that said, I'm gonna be making a more in detail, a more in detailed video about the t-shirts. That's something I want to talk about. The next thing I want to talk about was some phone case related stuff. I am planning on making um another phone case video because the other ones did so well and i got a whole bunch of comments asking a whole bunch of questions all of the questions were repetitive and they were really easy to answer so i just answered them in the video in the um comment section of the video i didn't really make a whole separate video for them and if i if there like was a question that i could go like really in depth about i did make a video um but all the rest of the questions i kind of answered i think pretty well um in the comment section of that video but they did do really well and they're getting a lot of views so i thought that's something people might want to see more on my channel so i was gonna make another phone case video but the only problem was i wasn't sure what i was gonna make it about because in the video that i didn't i did film about the phone cases i kind of just put like literally the whole startup package in the video there wasn't really much more i could go in depth of i think that's why the questions were really simple and easy to answer because i feel like i did put like everything you needed in the video but um i do want to make another video about phone cases but i'm not really sure what it's gonna be about so if you guys have any questions that you might want me to put in that video um or any ideas about what you want me to make that phone case video about please leave them down in the 
um, comment section below. They really helped me idea and script out the video and I really do listen to each and every one of your guys' comments. Like if you go on my channel, go on any video, you go on any um, the comment sections of the videos, you always see a response from me, whether it's a like or a reply or anything like that. I look at everyone's comments. Um, but um, yeah, I have a video on that coming up soon. The next session of this video is just going to be, I think, me doing a quick story time because I thought it was kind of funny, not kind of funny, and also I could put some images up about it, but I did go to a vendor event. If you don't know what a vendor event is, it's basically an event where, you know, it's set up by an organization where they have sellers, artisans, Mm, farmers markets and stuff set up their like stands and their booth and you get to sell your items there for a certain amount of time and you know people come buy your stuff and you know leave i went to one of these um the one i went to was a children's business fair one it was really really good it got a super like heavy amount of traffic i even won a trophy won two trophies but that's beside the point but um one does account count cuts participation but um yeah i went to a vendor event and it was really good you know i was there for like eight hours i sold a whole bunch of stuff people really liked my products it's really great to get feedback and you know just to get a good idea of how your business is doing and you know like think tips and tricks from like real life people on what you can change and what you can add and all that stuff but um i went and you know it was really nice and i personally have never had really a bad situation like those small businesses have where like small businesses will be like oh you know but well, they'll get contacted by like random people and get like threats and stuff like oh if you don't send me a free thing i'm gonna like make bad comments about your business and stuff like that i've never had anything like that happen to me and the only remotely close thing i have had like that happen to me was at this business fair and i went and it was some old lady <laughs> I'm not gonna say your skin color because you know it's irrelevant right old lady and come up to me and um you know i was selling my stuff and there was judges at the fair and you know the judges asked questions and stuff you know some non-business related questions some business related questions but questions right because they're judges you know that's totally fine but the thing about this lady was like i also find with like people just like regular people who aren't judges coming up and asking me questions about my business but there's just one thing about this lady where she came up to me and you know she walked up to my booth and you know she was asking me questions and it wasn't even like she just had some like rude aura about her like she was just like rude off rip somehow just by like the way she was just like lurking and um she was looking at my stuff and she was like looks like you have a collection of a lot of different stores here and i was like oh does she mean like my stuff looks professional enough to be in the stores uh, i don't know i was like oh yeah thank you you know i try to like pick and like you know redesign here and there you know to make my own image and she was like really and i was like yeah and um she was like so you handmade all this stuff and then i was like mm -hmm. yeah everything she's like wow wow are you sure? It's like, ma'am, this is a handcrafted business fair. What do you mean that I hand like? I'm like, oh yeah, everything here is handmade by me besides the keychains, but like everything else, which was like, if you've seen my, I had like two tables and like, it was like jam packed full and the keychains took up like literally this much space of my whole table. And I was like, everything here is handmade by me. I know props to me and she was like mm, 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 i see so what's in this and she was just going around each thing she was like so what ingredients i'm like ma'am i have over a hundred items on this table do you want do you really you're like do you really expect me to remember what's in each and everything but i am that guy so i did remember what is in each and everything so i was uh, <laughs> she was i was like oh what's in this what's in that what's in this i'm like this is in that that is in this and you know and yeah yeah and it's after after she was done interrogating me and asking all these questions and stuff you want to know what the craziest part was about it what? she didn't even buy nothing <laughs> she just came there to talk ma'am i had people lined up at my table like when i say lines i'm talking about lining up waiting to look at my table ask questions and do their own little thing i'm like you did not just waste 10 minutes of my time 
and not even buy anything you could at least like took a free lollipop that would that would have felt better than her just like wasting my time but but she she wasted my time she left she was like so super rude just disrespectful and i feel like don't do that i don't know i don't think anyone who watches me would even do something like that just like but like especially with a kid's business fair like you're not gonna go up to an eight-year-old stand and start asking them a million one questions the eight-year-old billy knows how to take and count money like it's a kid's business fair relax what are you pressing these kids for even if it wasn't mine what are you pressing me about it for what are you gonna do if it's not mine not buy it you didn't buy anything anyway i'm going off in this let me stop but <laughs> if you're watching my video make sure you leave it a like comment and subscribe i do appreciate it now i'm just kidding <laughs> but um seriously that's about it for this video um that's the story time i don't know yet if i'm gonna shake that laffy taffy girl so that's basically it for this video if you guys i think i am gonna cut a little bit out because this video is 20 minutes and there's just some scenes that don't need to be in the video but um, if you guys like to keep the video more raw and uncut with a little bit less editing, that's easier on me. But again, I don't mind. Just leave it down in the comments below. If you guys have any recommendations for you, which you want next video's business spot and Monday video to be like, um, I'll get to everybody's recommendations eventually. So if you have some random ideas, funny, weird, anything, just leave them down in the comment section below. We'll talk it out. And more, than, more likely than not, we'll get it done. So... Um, that said i hope you guys liked the video if you guys enjoyed this laughed smiled didn't like it still like the video i'm just kidding but if this if you guys didn't like the video make sure you like comment and subscribe it will help this channel out so so much and again thank you guys so much for hitting 300 and i love you guys peace out say bye rihanna bye bye bye, -bye. And i've been chilling watching the ocean with you baby up with a slow motion crew we up in our growlings when people change, but not us. And we just chillin', kicking it, kiss by the sun. Could be soaked to the skin in the mall soon. I know she got the good vibes when seasons change, but we're the same. Your mom, your mom and your dad were. They're getting in tonight. All right, okay, let me stop. Yeah, hey. okay, I'm getting Okay, <laughs> so shake, laugh, you tough girl, shake that. So y'all need to hide your kids, hide your wife, 